the war room of the Washington Wizards, their draft camp. The movers and shakers and the people making the decisions for the Washington Wizards kind of wonder what they're doing right now, right? I mean, if they know, what do they need five minutes for? Just, just kind of wonder. The last time the Wizards had the number one pick, maybe they want to make sure they don't pick a guy like that. Kwame Brown, on June 27, 2001, 2001 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Kwame Brown from Green Academy, Brunswick, Georgia. Kwame Brown, the first high school player selected, number one overall in NBA Draft history. 6.7 points per game for his career, the second lowest ever for a number one overall pick. He's played for three other NBA teams since being drafted by Washington last year with the Pistons. As for the Wizards, Gilbert Arenas suspended by the NBA for the final 50 games of the season for that gun incident. Butler, Jamison, Haywood all traded during the season, so you know they need players and they're busy stacking them up. They won this lottery in Secaucus, May 18th. And on June 8th, Ted Leonsis was approved as majority owner. So they have Kirk Heinrich, or they will when the trade is finalized on July 8th. They have the first pick in the draft, and they have Gilbert Arenas. We've been talking about it. Is there any way possible that those three guys remain with the Wizards? Absolutely. It would be very hard to trade Gilbert Arenas before the season with that contract coming off his health issues. He's a very good player. I just don't see him playing as a two guard. I, I think he's a very good point guard, as is John Wall. I'm not sure they could play well together, but I do like Kirk Heinrich as your third guard coming off the bench. Yeah, I, I just don't think this is a, a, a certain need for the Washington Wizards, but it's a pick that you have to make. John Wall has the potential to be one of the best NBA point guards we have in the league. It's a pick you have to make, but it is a big risk because because if you can't dump Gilbert Arenas, you've got these two guys playing together. And I think defensively, you're going to have a major issue because Gilbert Arenas is not going to be able to guard two guards in this league. Well, one thing I think, I think John Wall can guard two. Is he guarded twos this year when he played with Bledsoe? I, I think this guy could guard points or twos. Jay, when you look at John Wall, you told us he's quick and he's fast. Can he get better as a pro in those categories, quickness and just pure speed? Well, he can get better in the way that he uses them, in the way that he changes pace and, and changes direction. I think the biggest challenge for John Wall as an NBA player is going to be his efficiency in the half court. Uh, that, that's something I think he can get a lot better because he turns the ball over probably one out of four times in half court situations. Uh, and he's not as good off pick and roll as he should be, but he will get that. I mean, he's still a teenager. The kid's got uh, tremendous potential as a point guard in the NBA. A lot of question marks for the Washington Wizards. Gilbert Arenas, of course, only played 48 games the last three seasons. The pick is in, and here's the commissioner, David Stern. With the first pick in the 2010 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select John Wall from the University of Kentucky program is John Wall is the first Kentucky player ever selected number one overall. That's a surprise. Jay Billis, you've talked about him. He's the man. It's official. Well, we're talking about an elite point guard prospect. Tremendous speed in the open floor, especially going north-south. He can get from end to end faster than any player that I can remember uh, coming out in the NBA draft. He's got very good vision and very good finishing ability in the open court, and, and he's in, very instinctive in transition. He's got long arms. He's got a 6'9 wingspan, and with his speed, it allows you to play ahead of the defense. And this young man, I think, has got tremendous ability.
ability, passing the ball. Uh, he can improve in half-court situations, but we talked about his instinct. That he can put the ball on the floor and get by people and get into the lane, and when he's challenged, make a play. I think he's got to get better at finishing uh, at the rim when he's being challenged. But where I think he's really special and can be special is at the defensive end. He can make dynamic, basket-saving plays. Now, we talked about being a good finisher. When I say good finisher, it's mostly in transition. In the half-court, I think he does need to improve his finishing, especially when he's challenged by a big guy. But we just don't find point guards with this kind of speed. I think he's going to be able to improve his shot. He, he makes open shots at a pretty decent rate. Uh, he makes his free throws, and he gets to the free throw line. I, I, I think he needs to improve his efficiency in the half-court, and he turns the ball over a little bit too much. But again, we're talking about a teenager that's got a tremendous amount of potential, and he's a hard worker that wants to get better. That means a lot, too. All right, here's the reaction from the Wizards draft room when it was